Behind the walls of a signless, abandoned-looking warehouse in Tel Aviv is one of the most thrilling fine dining restaurants you'll ever find. The fresh, high-quality ingredients, the amusing, energetic atmosphere, and the open kitchen where you can watch every dish carefully prepared from start to finish are reasons why this restaurant is known to be the best high-end dining experience in Israel. Get ready, I'm taking you with me to eat an unforgettable meal at Tel Aviv's Hasalon. We made it to the restaurant. Look at our seats right in front of a big pile of meat and vegetables. See all of them cooking. I love how they just set out all of the fresh produce. There's even some figs and some cherries. Just whole stalks of green onions and just a pile, hunks of meat, just sitting on the countertop before us. Uh, this is a fine dining restaurant, but at the same time, it feels like you're eating in the middle of a market. And it's owned by Eyal Shani, who is a, he's a, a legend in the food scene in Tel Aviv. He's a food scientist. He owns a number of restaurants around Tel Aviv, but this is his flagship restaurant. It's only open two days a week, and it almost has like a laboratory feel to it. They slice things with expertise. Everything is down to a science and the ingredients are the top of the notch. There's there's no better quality ingredients. For the first bite they've served, of, served us some uh, a type of bread, like a focaccia type of bread. There are tomatoes on it, there's some sage. Oh, it's like perfectly gooey. And then that cream is so silky smooth. Next up we have Figs Carpaccio and he very very thinly and very delicately sliced up fig, figs, laid them onto a plate, and then I think all he topped it with is some salt, some pepper, some, and, and he, he actually pounded the pepper so it's fresh, he cracked that pepper open, and then there's olive oil on there, and then some cheese, some Parmesan. Wow, this is just a beautiful, beautiful dish. Um, it's just absolutely pretty. Oh, and the, the figs are just incredibly soft and tender. Oh, man. Just that light sprinkle of probably sea salt, that cracked black pepper, the olive oil kind of brings it together, and then just, just only enough cheese to barely taste it and give it a little bit of saltiness. There's just so much going on in the kitchen here. It feels like you're in a food movie fantasy. <laughs> The next dish that has come is a crab, and he, he just meticulously deshelled that crab. It's mixed with just some very light ingredients, I think, some very light herbs. There are some sprouts on there, and then there's some raspberries to accompany it. Oh, I'm gonna try to get a bite with some of the crab, and, and I want that raspberry as well. That crab is just melting your mouth. And then there's Almost like, I think he used some of those green onions that are sitting right in front of us. But they're so mild. And then that raspberry is just like the purest raspberry I've ever tasted. Next dish is a, a shrimp bagel, but it's like a superior shrimp bagel. They use crystal shrimp, he peeled the shrimp. He, he just like so delicately, so carefully, the chef, he layered on tomatoes. Thank you. <laughs> he layered on pickles, and then he layered on that shrimp, and then there's, it's saucy, and it's their own version of a bagel. So, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, man. Oh, you can feel the, like, juiciness in your hands, oozing with good flavors. Oh, you can feel how soft and supple that is. Okay, I can't wait any longer. ridiculous. The shrimp is amazing and it's like a like a creamy sauce and then what I can also taste on there is the refreshing dill. <laughs> oh I'm just dripping all over the place but it's so good. Which is better than this in the world. The 
Sebastian. 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 This kitchen is just so entertaining. I, I can just, I'm just actually standing, I'm standing, I'm not even sitting, and I'm, I'm just at the edge of my toes watching the chef's work. The, one of the main dishes has come, leave it up to duty, yeah. to pre-order the entire rack. It's lamb, right? Yeah, because uh, I know this place. They don't have ever maybe two or three dishes like this. If we had them order it in the first place, it's already sold out. Oh, so they only have like two or three of these yeah. for the whole restaurant for the night. Exactly. So, so you pre-ordered it. It's definitely sold out now. So uh, oh. we have it for our yeah. It came right out of the, the wood oven. And you could see it. The, the ribs were actually alive still. They were pulsating. It was like... There, it was it was it was it was beating and you can see those juices just oozing okay I can't talk any longer oh, oh it's just it's just utterly tender it just slides it just slips oh look at that oh it's just dripping with juices and just fall apart tender wow that's hot too wow. I think Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going in for this. Pizza. And look at just look at the the prettiness of that caramelization. That is caramelized beauty. Oh, melts in your mouth. I'll tell you another thing. Nobody knows how to handle lamb with the Alshonian is cruise. We made so much research on lamb. And it's just perfect. I'm gonna use that bone just to kind of scoop up some of that meat below there. And look, oh, oh, it's so, thing. so lamb oily, perfect. All this is sitting on a bed of vegetables, you see? Oh yeah. Ridiculous. That is unbelievably delicious. You're gonna to wanna to lick your fingers after every single bite. Okay, on second thought, I will use my spoon because it's so sloppily tender down there that I think a spoon is a must. Oh, it's just, it's in its own juices. It's in its own juices. out of the bottom of the mallet. Oh, and by the way, it's raw beef. I, mean, I think that's some, um, some basil on there. I have a soft place in my heart for raw beef. Just got back to the apartment after dinner. That was the most fun and unique high-end fine dining restaurant experience that I've ever had in my entire life. I just sat there in awe watching them cook. It was like a, it was like an amusement of culinary 
like experimentation. It was, it really was like a culinary lab. A couple things, quick things that you should know is that number one, uh, the restaurant, it's quite a lively restaurant. So they have two sittings. They're only open for two nights per week and they have two sittings. The first setting is more calm. You can sit and you can converse. The second setting you gotta know is very lively. It's kind of almost like a nightclub experience. They turn the music loud, people start to dance. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Number two is that it's very expensive. Our total bill came to 1,000, around 1,300 shekels uh, for the dishes that we ate. And that's just David and I eating. Uh, so huge thank you to David Khalifa. He's the hungry tourist on Instagram and I'll leave his link on, in the description box. You gotta follow him for some of the most amazing food throughout the world. I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And yeah, that was such, a, such an honor to, to have a chance to eat at that restaurant.